we're waking up here at Deep Gap Shelter after a silent night's sleep. It was a great night in the woods out here. And we are going to tackle the Georgia triple frown today. We were at Trimpy Shelter several weeks ago. I don't know, 1st of June. And we were sitting with a through hiker. His, his name was Straight Edge. And he talked about how he started the started his through hike and thought you know oh i'm sure george is just overhyped and he's tried to do this day from blue mountain which is south of us here to deep gap he tried to do it all in a day it's about 20 miles and it crosses rocky mountain for northbounders it crosses rocky mountain trey mountain and kelly knob and coming north those three mountains are really difficult climbs Going south, they're not as bad, but they're still all over 4,000 feet in Georgia. And so, kind of as a play on uh, Virginia's Triple Crown, which is Dragon's Tooth, McAfee Knob, Tinker Cliffs, we've started calling this series of three mountains Georgia's Triple Frown because nobody likes climbing over these. This is the tough northern part of the state. So, we're here in Deep Gap. Kelly and I was our first climb today. And then uh, Trey and Unicoi, uh, sorry, Trey and Rocky. And then just on the other side of Rocky is Unicoi Gap, where North Star's gonna pick us up. So here we go. We're at the top of Kelly Knob. The first frown is down. <laughs> Let's so, keep going. Yeah, we got two more to go. We're at the swag of the Blue Ridge. And we're taking a short break with some Sour Patch Kids. We're gonna piddle around for about two more miles before going up and climbing Trey Mountain. It's 11.30, we're in Wolfpin Gap, which is the start of the second frown, Trey Mountain. So we're not gonna go all the way to the top, we're gonna stop at the shelter and eat lunch first, and then we'll push over it down, back up to Rocky, and then down to Unicoi where we'll end our day, so. Here we go, frown number two. Here is the nearly completely overgrown summit of Trey Mountain in July. There's a good view here behind us, but in the winter, this this is near 360. I, I'm not sure it's quite that good. But. So we're on top after a stop at Trey Mountain Shelter. For lunch. Sandwiches, Cheetos, Nerds Clusters. Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew. That's all I remember. We packed all the goods in. It was pretty good. And so we got about five and a half left to Unicorn. Here we come. We're taking a rest here in Indian Grave Gap. We got 2.7 to go. Just south of us is Rocky Mountain, my least favorite of the Georgia Triple Frown. It's like the biggest frown. It's a big frown, guys. So we're going to go uphill 900 feet, then downhill 1,000 feet. We're going to do all this in 2.7, and then we're going to get in the van and go home. We're excited about that last part. <laughs> yes. We're on top of Rocky Mountain here, and I think we are. And that climb is just ridiculous. I'm Here's Texas Pete. I have a really big frown on Man, that's ridiculous. I, I don't. Okay, that's 900 mile. That's 900 feet in 1.2. But it sure does not feel like that. The end part definitely met the steep formula because there was some flat near the beginning. We're on the downhill side of Rocky Mountain now, going towards Unicoi. I understand the AT's trailblazing philosophy over these mountains. They want to keep it on the highest part of the ridge and split the watersheds and walk the county lines. Um, stick to the top of the Blue Ridge. But man, Rocky Mountain is a tooth of a mountain on the profile map that is a thousand feet tall and a thousand feet is that is a lot of elevation <laughs> i mean the highest point on the trail is six thousand and change maybe 66 and so I mean, that is a substantial amount of elevation to be gaining in in a mile point two and then losing right again so it doesn't matter which side you come up rocky though Southbound is a little easier. As a northbounder, you're going to gain a thousand feet in 1.2 miles. 
and then you're going to turn around and immediately burn off 900 feet and you're going to be an Indian grave gap and then you, you almost do it again. Trey Mountain is not quite as nasty but Kelly Knob is, is a booger also. These are three killer mountains in 13 miles of trail. And then for southbounders, continuing past Unicoi Gap, where there's no camping, Blue Mountain is right there, and it's another 1,000 feet in a mile and a half, which is kind of a big zinger for the end of the day. Thankfully, we get a break tomorrow before we climb back up that on Wednesday. It's three o'clock, we're in Unicoi Gap and we're getting picked up by North Star and headed back to our house. We're zero in tomorrow. The Georgia triple frown is in the books. <laughs> and we're smiling. 